Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Old Fort, North Carolina. And out west, we have Yellowstone National Park with its famous Old Faithful Geyser. But here in North Carolina, we are not going to be left out of the equation. So we decided we were going to create our own geyser. The Andrews Geyser. And it is made by forces more powerful than nature. It was created by the forces of man. An 80 foot geyser firing non-stop into the air. It was built as a celebration of the railroad industry named after a famous railroad baron named Baron Andrews, maybe? Andrews Geyser? I don't know. Anyway, I'm here. The magnificent Andrews Geyser. Behold. Um, <laughs> I said it would be 80 feet. That's, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of sad. Let's... Look this big, grand pond constructed, and then this, this thing that's slightly larger than a drinking fountain. Okay, apparently... Uh, 2014 they had some of the um, some of the pipes I guess leaked or busted so no longer firing 80 feet into the air maybe two and a half feet I guess the lesson we've all learned here today is that man can never truly overcome nature every time man tries to improve on what nature has done. Nature shows us that we're a bunch of idiots. And by the way, this is out in the middle of nowhere. I had to drive like eight miles on like this back gravel road to find this geyser. Really in the middle of nowhere. There's the railroad up there. You can see that, so. Normally, the trains that drive by, look at that magnificent geyser. It makes me proud to be part of the railroad industry. But now they're just like, what the hell is that? That's like, not even really a geyser. But uh, thanks for joining me, I guess. <sighs> Appreciate you guys. www.thecarpetbagger.org Thank you.